Australia's Great Barrier Reef is the world's biggest coral ecosystem. Visible from space, it spans nearly 350,000 square kilometres and contains 600 types of coral, 1,500 species of fish and 3,000 types of mollusk. The World Heritage listed site is a life-sustaining ecosystem, providing food and shelter to species such as the dugong, known as the sea cow and the large green turtle, both of which are threatened with extinction. But global warming is wreaking havoc on the Great Barrier Reef, threatening its very survival. In 2016, the reef experienced its worst bleaching in recorded history, with some 93% of corals affected. Bleaching occurs when abnormal environmental conditions, especially warmer sea temperatures, cause corals to expel tiny photosynthetic algae, draining them of their colour. Although bleaching itself doesn't kill the reefs, they become more vulnerable to disease and will eventually die if they fail to regain their symbiotic plankton friends. Experts say that if greenhouse gases keep rising, bleaching events will become the new normal, occurring every two years by the mid-2030s. Reefs need some 15 years to completely recover from bleaching of this magnitude, which means large parts of the Great Barrier Reef could be lost within just a couple of decades. Aside from climate change, other threats to the reef include farming runoff, coastal development and the coral-eating crown of thorn starfish. As well as providing a home to hundreds of marine species, the Great Barrier Reef supports a multi-billion dollar tourist industry and tens of thousands of jobs. Scientists warn that urgent government action is needed to improve water quality or the reef could be beyond saving within five years.